What is up guys, welcome back to another Fallout video, and today I'm bringing you all the working glitches in Fallout 4, and this is like a monthly type series that we have on our channel, where um, after updates come out, I go over all the working glitches that are still working inside the game, because as the more updates come out, some get patched, and then some more actually come out, so if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. So for the majority of these glitches I'm about to show you, it's all going to rely on one thing, and that is timing. Now, you're going to be doing the same button layout type thing for all of these glitches, and right now we are doing the unlimited bottle caps glitch. For this, it's only going to cost you, I think, $1,000 max for the cheapest one, but you can get ones upwards of $3,000, or bottle caps, I'm sorry. But, um... When you do this, you just want to buy one store and then place it onto the ground. Once you have placed it onto the ground, you want to hover over it so it is fully green. And when you do that, on PS4, you want to press square and then circle. So basically, what's going to think that you're doing is scrapping it and also selling it at the same time. So whenever you sell it and scrap it, it, it just puts it back into your workshop so you have one in your workshop still even though you bought it but you also get to keep from money from uh, scrapping it so basically you just keep to keep making more and more for free and then when you sell them you know it gives you that money you would have gotten if you would have actually bought it and sold it so going a little bit more in depth into this process when you press square and circle you're going to want to do it very very quickly so I'm gonna hold up my uh, Control up to the mic so you can get a like sound for how actually fast you need to do this. Now, if you couldn't comprehend how actually fast to do this, there will be a video of me actually doing it later in this video. So you can also see a visual representation and a sound representation of it. So just basically just do it really, really quickly. And um, you should get it down. It, it takes me a couple tries every now and then too. Like it just, it's gotten harder for me, I guess. I don't know if they've tried to patch it or what, but basically... Once you've done your desired amount of times, just go back over to your um, workshop, and then the battle caps should be inside your workshop. Alright guys, for this glitch, it is an XP glitch, and you're going to need the Automatron DLC for the Automatron um, workbench to actually craft a Automatron robot. So, basically what you want to do, just go to the workbench, and then craft yourself a new robot. And once you've made yourself a new robot, just scroll down to Torso, and click Protectron Torso, and then just buy one that you can unlock, so... If your most unlocked one is Mr. Handy like me, do that one. If you can do Sentry, do that one. So, as I did mine, I did Mr. Handy, so I equipped it, and then go back and unequip it by selecting Protecton Torso at the top, and it should unequip it, and it should be in your inventory now. Now that you have equipped and unequipped the torso from your new Automatron, go over to your workshop, and then make a cabinet or any type of container next to it to place in a whole bunch of items, because what you're going to be doing is taking all the junk from your workshop that is required to um, actually build the torso and then you're going to be putting that inside of the container so whenever you go to actually craft a um, another torso it's not going to let you because you won't have the correct amount of materials once you have taken all your junk and put it inside of a container just command one of your companions to go stand by the robot workbench and it doesn't matter who it is, it can be a robot, it can be your dog, it can be whatever you want it to be. So once they are standing by the um, workshop, just ask them to trade, exit out of the trade, select again, it's going to be delayed, and then select the workbench before it actually goes into the screen where it does to uh, trade with them. And most of you guys probably already know this switch, but I mean, it is new to a lot of new people. So once you're in the screen, it should really look glitched out like this. Just scroll down to uh, your torso again and click on the torso that you had just unlocked and you can um just keep getting a whole bunch of XP by selecting X and right on the D-pad for PS4 and uh, if you just keep spamming these buttons it's gonna make a really weird sound and you know you've done it right whenever it sounds like this so just do this for however long you want to and then when you're done just exit the station and you will find when you X out, out of all the screens there's going to be an XP meter on the side of your screen that is counting up all the XP that you had accumulated over the process of um, just buying a ton of torsos for your robot for free. So that's basically how you do this glitch. It's actually really simple. It just takes a while to get a hang of. Alright guys, so to do this glitch, all you have to do is just go to your workshop and then go over to any junk you want. So I chose acid. And then once you have chosen your material, go ahead and then go into your Pip-Boy 
and then drop that item onto the ground. Now I recommend auto saving at this point just in case you know you lose anything or anything like that but if you do that go in the workshop mode and then this is the tricky part that everyone always gets stuck on. When you're at this part of the place and you're hovering over the item that you want to pick up you press square on PS4 then very quickly after you have pressed square you want to press circle now you know you've done it right whenever it asks you if you want to sort in the workshop just go ahead and press yes to get out of that and then press X to get out of the workshop now as you can see if you go back to your workshop you should have doubled of that amount just take that out of the workbench and then place it back on the ground and you know you have done it right perfectly whenever there is two of the item that you just had so to get rid of this just go into the workshop mode and then scrap both of them then go back into your workshop and it should have them there and they should be one piece whenever you put them on the ground. Okay guys, so this is real life right now and I want to show you guys how I do it. There are two different techniques to uh, actually press it. So what I do is whenever I'm doing a glitch, I press square and then I slide my thumb over and you actually hit X at the same time. That's not really needed, but the, my technique is I just slide it over and I end up pressing X anyway. Or there's also another technique where you just press square and then after you press circle. Now this is the correct timing that you want to do it and this is how I always do it. Now if you do it like that it should go ahead and duplicate it but if it does I guess you just keep trying it and then this is the speed that you want to use if you are doing the press circle and square and not actually sliding your thumb. Alright guys so hopefully now you can figure out how you actually do this glitch you can get it down so you can duplicate all your materials that you want and um... Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this one, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hoochie.